The Fast and Furious movies are zooming onto the global Netflix chart in a peculiarly disjointed way. You're welcome to Stats In. If you're just joining us please subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to turn on notifications bell for more videos. Over the past two decades, the high-octane action franchise has grown exponentially and now includes 10 movies, the spin-off Fast and Furious Presence, Hobbs and Shaw, and the animated show Fast and Furious Spy Racers. The franchise's star-studded ensemble cast includes Vin Diesel, the late Paul Walker, Dwayne Johnson, Michelle Rodriguez, Therese Gibson, Charlize Theron, Helen Murren, Kurt Russell, and many more. Netflix has now announced their global top 10 English language movies for the week of December 4 through December 10. Two different Fast and Furious movies have landed on the chart for the first time, though they take place in entirely disparate moments in the franchise's chronology. The first is the original 2001 movie The Fast and the Furious at number 8, with 6.3 million views followed by its seventh sequel, 2017's The Fate of the Furious, at number 9 with 6 million views. It is important to note that neither The Fast and The Furious nor The Fate of the Furious are available on Netflix in the United States. In fact, the original movie has appeared on the global chart just one month after leaving the U.S. platform in November. However, both titles have appeared in the top 10 in more than 50 countries apiece on every continent except Antarctica. This illustrates how important international audiences are to the Fast and Furious franchise. While the original movie didn't have a substantial gross in international markets, as the global theatrical marketplace opened up over time and the movies became bigger blockbuster tentpoles, overseas grosses began to outshine the domestic box office considerably. This gulf has grown to the point that the most recent entry, Fast X grossed nearly four times as much internationally as it did domestically. This global Netflix success could be a very good sign for upcoming Fast and Furious movies. If international interest has been sustained enough that even the lesser performing original movie is charting, this means the franchise likely has a future, even if U.S. interest continues to dip. This is very important to the continuation of the long-running franchise, because at the time of writing, there are already four sequels and spin-offs in various stages of development. Okay, that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section below. Please like, share, and subscribe for more.